Hey everybody, it's Aaron at Warmoth, and today I am geeking out hard about strap buttons. So strap buttons are one of those things that I get irrationally emotional about. Um, it's just, it's, I'm a big fan of good industrial design and a big fan of having something that is well designed in its simplest form to fulfill its purpose. And when you find something like that, you know, good industrial design where a thing isn't overly complex, it's just as simple as it can be to do its job. It, it just makes you feel good every time you use it, um, whether it's a desk or a kitchen gadget or whatever in your life. Those kinds of things are the best. And that's the way I feel about strap buttons. I have very strong opinions about strap buttons. So you'll have to forgive me if I, if I uh, get crabby about the one that you like the best. Don't take it personal. It's just me uh, geeking out way too hard about strap buttons. So let's run down these strap buttons from worst to best, starting with number 10 the crappiest strap button ever designed by man, and that is the strap buttons that came off my Les Paul Classic. Uh, I actually have two Les Paul Classics, a 2004 and a 2007. Both had these same kind of strap buttons, and they are utter garbage. Les Pauls are these guitars that are notoriously heavy, notoriously prone to headstock breaks, and they put these little itty bitty teeny tiny strap buttons on them, but at least all the edges are round, so straps will slip right off. And at least it gets mounted on an outside curve where the strap button is almost kind of facing upward. It's like, come on, did anybody even use this before you started screwing them on these expensive guitars? Utter garbage. Number nine, the Grolsch washer. Anytime any thread comes up on any forum where somebody says, hey, what are the best strap locks out there? You can just hear, a thousand guys leaning forward in their chairs and typing as fast as they can because they want to be the first ones to say, dude, get yourself a couple of Grosch washers and you'll get two beers thrown in for free. If you don't know what Grosch is, it's a Danish beer. And instead of having a, you know, a pop top or a screw top, they have the, like these old fashioned lever tops or something. And they have a washer that goes in between the top and the glass bottle. So when you pop the top off, you're left with this little washer. And they've become such a thing that uh, companies are making them like this is a Fender branded one. And I hate these things. I just, I hate them, first of all, because I think they're kind of geeky in the same way that a guy, a, a runner wearing Vibram shoes with the little toes in them are kind of geeky. But when you talk to somebody, they're, they try just a little too hard to convert you. Uh, I, I kind of feel that way about these. But even beyond that, the problem I really have with them is that, well, I mean, they're obviously not a strap button. It's a strap locking device. So you have a regular strap button, you put your strap on it, and then you kind of stretch this over the strap button to hold your strap on. The problem is they're made out of rubber and they're really grippy and sticky. And so you start moving your guitar around and pretty soon these start spinning and because they're grippy, they take your strap button with it and anytime you got a turning strap button, you're turning the screws, loosening the screws. Um, the other problem with them is that you can forget them. Uh, you know, if you're really dependent on these things and you forget it or it pops off and goes rolling under a table somewhere in a dark bar, you're never gonna find it. Just not a fan of the Grosch washers. Number eight, the EVH style eye bolt and the bolt snaps. You know, those little things with the thumb lever that he used, and yes, I get it. He was looking for a way to secure his straps back in a time when there weren't a million strap lock options. And so, uh, you know, what he did was pretty clever in that regard, but from a modern perspective, I hate that solution. When you move your guitar around, it's just like clackety, clackety, clack, and it's about as elegant as a rhinoceros uh, in a roller rink. Number seven, Dunlop strap locks. Not a fan, and I shall tell you why. Uh, first, there's nothing physically supporting your guitar. They have like a, a pin that goes into the, into the strap button, but if the springs in that pin fail, that pin can just come out and your guitar falls. There's nothing physically supporting it. So that's 
a huge no-go. The other thing I hate about them is they make the strap stand like an inch off your guitar. Your strap is clear off your guitar, and I hate that. Absolutely hate it. Number six, the PRS style strap button, AKA a bass string retainer. And these are definitely a step in the right direction. They are big and round, unlike the Gibson strap button. These things are big and round so that a strap won't easily slip off. The problem is the clearance. There's no clearance there, and so you can't fit a strap under there, especially if you have like a thick leather strap, it won't fit under there. I've owned a bunch of PRS, and when I went to attach my strap, I had to unscrew the strap buttons, clear off the guitar, put my strap in place, and then screw the strap button back on with the strap in there. And then, of course, it's wedged in there. Uh, and anytime you have something wedged in that tight, it wants to turn the strap button, which is going to start loosening the screws, and your strap is permanently attached to the guitar. So a step in the right direction, but still fatally flawed, in my opinion. Number five the DiMarzio clip lock strap. Now that's obviously not a strap button, but on when you use a DiMarzio clip lock, this takes the place of the strap button, and then of course you have the strap that, uh, that clips into it. Uh, I'll admit that I have a soft spot for these. They, they came out in the 80s, and you see a lot of 80s guys using them, whether it's Ingve or Steve Vai or Nuno or whatever, they all like these. these. The problems with it are, one, uh, this doesn't work with any other kind of strap. If you accidentally forget the strap and you get it a gig, you're hosed because you don't have a strap button on your guitar. You have this instead, and it doesn't work with anything else. Um, that said, once you have the strap on, it's pretty much indestructible, and you can do the 80s twirl around 360s with no problem. I, I think that's the real strength of these straps. So yeah, I have massive nostalgia for these straps, but again, fatally flawed. Number four, the vinyl T-shaped strap buttons that Warmoth sells. These again are getting towards the right idea. Uh, it's easy to put your strap on, but very hard for it to slip off because of these big wide T-shapes. And I've seen other variations of this. I've seen ones where it's a V-shape. I've seen ones where it's like a skull and crossbones or whatever. Um, and even though they're a step in the right direction, they again have one fatal flaw, and that is that they're not round. That means that this can start spinning. It has these edges to start spinning, and again, anytime you got a strap button that's spinning, you got a, sc a screw that's spinning, and it's eventually going to work itself loose. So again, step in the right direction, but not my jam. Number three, the standard strap button you've seen a million times on a million guitars. Perfectly serviceable. It's worked for people forever just fine, but it has a huge problem. Once your strap is on there, if it decides it wants to work its way off your guitar, the underside of this strap button is like a perfect ramp right to the lip of the button. It gives your strap a perfect avenue, like it's like, uh, you want to come off? Here, let me show you the way. And it just leads the strap right over the lip of the guitar. So that's my problem with the standard strap button. Number two. Schaller S-Locks. Now, I've used Schaller strap locks forever on lots of guitars. Um, and you could describe the Schaller strap locks in four words. Squeakity squeak and clickety clack. Fortunately, about a year, maybe even two years ago, Schaller completely redesigned their S-Locks, and this new design is fantastic. They solved all the problems that people had with the old version. Um, and now they, they are much quieter, and unlike Dunlops, they have this little piece right here that actually cups the strap button. So if the spring mechanism here were to fail, you still have something physically supporting your guitar. If you are into uh, strap locks, these are the best on the market, in, in my opinion. And number one the oversized strap button. This is the winner. I have replaced every strap button on every guitar and bass that I own with these. You will not find a guitar in my house that doesn't have these on them. And I shall tell you why. They are the easy on, difficult off design where it's, it's big and round and has a, and um, so straps don't easily slip off. 
Unlike the PRS style, there is plenty of clearance along the edge for a thick strap to fit in there with no problem. Unlike the standard strap button, the back is completely flat. It doesn't have that angled taper leading the strap to the lip of the button. It's perfectly flat under there, very difficult for a strap to come off. I have gigged extensively with these things, and when I perform live, I get pretty animated. I've never once had any guitar slip off the strap with these buttons. And the other cool thing about these oversized strap buttons is that Warmoth now sells them. Uh, you can get them right through Warmoth. Uh, I used to get these from a different source, and that source is no longer providing them. So Warmoth searched high and low and found a source for these, and they are now available on the Warmoth site, along with some of these others, along with the standard strap buttons, the Schaller S-Locks, the vinyl uh, T-style strap buttons. Those are all available on the Warmoth site. So now I want to just show you some close-ups and do some comparisons of these buttons so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So for example, this is a standard strap button. This is the Gibson strap button, and you can see how much smaller that is. It's just tiny in comparison. It's the smallest strap button there is on the biggest, heaviest guitar there is. Uh, Gibson strap button. Don't even want to see that anymore. We're just going to put it out of frame. We want to forget it exists. Um, if you compare a standard strap button to the oversized strap button, if you look at them from the side, you can see the difference here. Uh, the, um, the standard strap button has this, this angle on the other side that leads right up to the lip. It just makes it easy for the strap to slip off, whereas the oversized button is perfectly flat on the back. There's, there's no angle there, so it's much harder for the strap to slip off. If you compare the oversized strap button to the, uh, the PRS style, you can immediately see how much more clearance there is. Uh, the oversized strap button has way more clearance between the body. I hope you can see that. Uh, the T-style has the same amount of clearance, but of course it's got that flaw that we talked about where um, it will spin. And to sum up, these are my top two picks. If you prefer strap locks, then these redesigned Schaller S-locks are the way to go. They are, this new design eliminates all the funky noises. Uh, they have so many clever ways to like attach them to your strap and stuff. They're just a really, really well-designed strap lock. If you are like me and you don't like strap locks, then it's oversized strap buttons all the way, baby. These things to me are the embodiment of a simple, elegant design. And that is my strap button shootout. I want to know what you think. Do you agree with my picks? Do you think I'm full of it? Uh, do you have a strap button that is your favorite that I didn't mention here? Are you angry that I dissed on your Grolsch washers? Make sure and, and tell me so in the comments nicely be nice, be civil. Intelligent people can disagree. Um, so let me know. And in the meantime, head on over to the Warmoth site and check out our strap buttons, particularly the oversized strap button. If you have any further questions, you can give our customer service reps a call. And until next time, keep on picking.